Well, now to your health and your kids. Young athletes are at risk for overuse injuries, especially if they're playing year round. Now, uh, health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with the number one thing parents need to make sure the kids do this summer. Haley. Yeah, you got to let your kids take a rest this summer. A sports medicine specialist at Texas Children's tells me that kids need the summertime to take a break. That doesn't mean sitting on the couch, though, but they at least have to change up their sports routine. And it just popped and gave out on me. It popped. You yep. heard it. Yep. Uh, it definitely was not comfortable. Connor Samp was a baseball pitcher in the Siena neighborhood of Fort Bend for years. And after an elbow injury got him benched, he's got some clarity on what he could have done differently. I wish that I would have like taken it a little easier sometimes. Wish I was taught like how to treat your arm at a young age because I feel like that is a uh, a big problem. He's right. It's a huge problem among both girls and boys. Primary care sports medicine Dr. Joseph Chorley with Texas Children's says the most common injuries are in the knee, followed by elbow and shoulder injuries. Kids that are tall um, and lean, mm -hmm. they can really generate a lot more force because their arms are longer and those kind of things. And the stronger they are, and the taller they are, the more force they have, and that can, that, that's the combination that's very good because they can throw the ball hard, but it's very bad because when they throw the ball hard, it can injure uh, those structures of the growth plate. The main cause of this problem, year-round sports and no rest. Year-round sports are really set up for overuse injuries, and if they don't have a time off to recover, that gets into more problems. If kids didn't have four months off, they were six times more likely to have shoulder or elbow problems. Four months might sound like a lifetime to a kid, but the solution is simple. They don't have to like sit on the couch for four months, but playing something different. So again, if you have a baseball kid in the fall playing basketball is a time away from over stressing those growth plates. You do not want your best days of baseball to be when you were 11. If your child plays baseball, this message is incredibly important. There are a lot of recommendations on pitch counts and those kind of things, but the problem you get into is is if you play on multiple teams and you have multiple pitch counts, I don't think anybody's adding them all up. For Connor, since he did like switch sports, does it does that give him a better chance of not having chronic pain later? Absolutely. I mean, for him, um, he had problems with his the inside of his elbow. The, the throwing is extremely extremely stressful on the elbow and the shoulder. All right, so to recap, Dr. Chorley says these are the most important things for you to remember. Ideally, you want to take four months off. So take time off this summer, uh, at least from the same sport. You can switch up your sports. He says for baseball players, do not pitch and catch in the same game. And ideally, you're going to want to alternate the games where you throw at all. He says do not throw until your arm is tired and don't throw as hard as you can for as long as you can. That extra stress puts uh, put stress on your elbow and your shoulder and the growth plate and the ligaments. So this could lead to long term damage if you don't get some rest and alternate and do things like that to prevent these overuse injuries. Hey, let's be honest, even the pros have an off season, right? Exactly. I mean, it needs time to let yep. the body do what it does. And he points out that even the professionals played a variety of sports growing up. Right. Right. Yep. It's rarely just one. Yeah. All right. Indeed. Thanks. Haley, great advice. Thank you.